Hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, Money Max 3D. So, um, we're going to do something ambitious today. Let me let me show you guys what we're going to do. So, let me just import an image here. Let's go into our images here, and this is what we sh will be making. Dun, 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 dun. These are just some random images I got off the internet uh, through Google. And we'll be modeling the M8 uh, assault rifle. We're going to try anyway. So I'm just going to set up my image planes here. Down, bow, bow, syntax. So I'll just bring that, let's see, minus uh, 20. Now up in the Y down here, what I want to do is, I just want to make sure that it's framing up on here, that we have some kind of middle reference. So if we use this, point here is the middle <laughs> and for the center because you want to line up a bottom piece for uh, this if we use uh, let's say round about here so we'll go to the Z and if we just so if we say 1.9, uh, we'll remember this value here, 1.9. Okay. So now we can go to the top view and do the same. I'll go up here. And what we want to do, we just want to uh, rotate this. Let's see, let's go to zero. There we go. Uh, on the Y. Let's see, let's go 90 degrees. And we want to bring it down in the X. Oh, sorry, in the Y wake up so let's go minus 20 on here and the zero is 1.9 so we have this side that's in line with this little piece down here and now we have in line with here so when we actually create this it's actually uh, in line but what I want to do is I want to bring this to the center like so oh, sorry about that I'll just grab in here and Roughly there, I mean, we'll play out some geometry and, and see uh, see where we go from here. Okay. So, let's just go into my attribute editor here. And we we'll just bring my color grind down. Same with this one. Just so we can see that a bit clearly. Okay, so let's save this in your Mass Effect folder. We'll save this as one scene start. There we go. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm recording. We've got some images here now. Um, this is actually from a website 
uh, that I'll show you uh, in a minute. Um, it's like uh, he is a prop designer in his spare time and the way he models his this rifle in particular is a great example of how you can model something in a 3D application. So for example there's one, two, three pieces, this is one piece, this is one piece, this is one piece and so forth. And uh, yeah, so if you look at that point of view, it uh, will not be a daunting task to actually model. I mean, these grooves are just uh, random details that we can cut out afterwards. So, but for now, I just want to concentrate on the front part, uh, as he sees here, which will be this part here. And uh, it has a little uh, indentation inside for these for this little piece here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to create a uh, polygon cube and we'll just bring that across. And we'll go to this end here. And let's put on my, uh, my uh, x-ray. And we're just going to uh, bring these out like so and just bring these up I think in order to keep let's try uh, this way and we'll bring up I just want to keep natural orientation at all times So this is uh, how I'm going to do that. Okay. Of course, well, we don't know if the reference image is actually uh, correct in a way. So we have that. Now what we need to do is actually bring like so so if we look at our image it's actually straight it's actually dead on straight down here it's not curved or anything only up here is uh, practically curved curved inwards this is just uh, practically just a straight a straight object and that imagery seems to be looking pretty well. Uh, the top just seems to be off just a little bit. So we can rectify that. And that we'll just bring comes out just a bit there. What I'll do is I'll just bring this in to the top. Okay. Like I said, this is just uh, size uh, is okay for me just uh, just a bit more we'll take an average of uh, dimensions on this image okay so just let me uh, get rid of my grid and we'll go into here okay so let's 
go back. Now, in this image here is actually uh, beveled quite nicely. But before we do that, we need to get our uh, little grooves in here. So I'm just going to go to my edge and split. We'll go up here. More tie. And we'll just bring that out. Across here. So roughly around. This piece actually fits inside. So we'll just bring that in. Like so. Now we won't be seeing all the way past this, so uh, what we can do is we can just add an edge down here and we'll just uh, get rid of these. But before we do that, of course, and we'll go to our slide edge tool. And we'll just bring that edge down with a middle click. And as you see, let's get to our image. Here we go. It's yeah, so roughly around there. I know it appears slightly thinner in our image. That's due to uh, the camera angle of this picture taken. Just going to delete those. And we have some like that so what we can do is we can extrude this edge and we're going to extrude it straight down and if we middle if we click oh sorry press V and middle click down here and we press G and we'll bring this out go to our uh, vertex mode and if we go to our merge vertex tool down here okay now we'll grab this edge here and cap or fill hole <coughs> or fill hole there we go so uh, that's our quick quick piece there so what we need to do now is grab these faces here and we want to go to edges and we just want to deselect the middle ones so and if we bevel okay, let me check And that seems fine, that 0.5. Yeah, seems fine. It looks, it looks, uh, it looks good. Okay. So now I'm going to grab all of those and bevel the edge here. We should de deselect uh, these ones here. We don't want uh, these ones. Beveled. And this one too. these ones so we just want these and we want uh, these in here okay so I'll just turn on my wireframe and just double keep it once over and there we go this one this one this one and this one Go 
because we don't want to do much clean up on this piece if it's not necessary uh, so add a bevel and oh, we can bring this down so if we go uh, point 2 ah. we need to do some clean up so if we undo that we can go back to edge here and deselect this edge here try and uh, be vigilant if you can ok, we'll add our bevel now uh, we'll go uh, Point two, as before, and just double check, and it looks okay. Okay, and that's that. That's that piece. Uh, pretty quick um, yeah so we'll do the same uh, for this piece with the added bonus that we don't need to of course uh, add any cuts so we'll just bring this down and we'll just place it there Stretch this out. Like so, and I'll grab these points, bring those up, and bring them in. don't want to obsess too much. It's not a uh, technical drawing. Okay. <clears throat> so we just want to don't know what happened there. Let's select our piece here and go okay and uh, yeah. so we'll grab uh, this face here and do a bevel uh, bevel bevel face please oh. sorry there we'll go to edges and we'll bevel Okay, point 0.5 and we'll uh, reselect those and do a point 0.2 okay let's check our uh, image here okay. let's get a close up
So I'm just going to bring this in. So, and I think we'll just bring uh, this piece down a bit and bring these up. Keep that uh, initial shape. Okay. So that's our first part. Um, maybe we just bring it uh, down. check our time here okay uh, I'll stop here and uh, let's see. so we'll do a quick save this will be number two uh, let's call this uh, grip okay so save and uh, I'll see you guys in the next lesson